How old are you? I'm 36. 36. What you do for a living? I'm a claims adjuster for an insurance company. Claims adjuster. Okay. Do you have any kids? I have two boys. Two boys. How old are your boys? Uh, seven and four weeks. Seven and four weeks. Four weeks? Four weeks. Girl, you didn't have sex yet. <laughs> no, I can't. <laughs> This woman just had a baby four weeks ago. I mean, and hell to the no, to the no, 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 hell to the no. Four weeks, she she went through the miracle, the traumatic miracle that is childbirth, just four weeks ago. You you still healing from pushing out a child from another man, but you're looking for another man. I just, my question is, like, what kind of energy do y'all be, you know, forming these relationships or situationships under? Like, yeah, we got together while my Kuda Kata was still. I'm done. There we go. She got a she got a four-month-old. Hit the like button. Four Ow, weeks. you look at your vagina ain't even healed. Four weeks. My apologies. Weeks. <laughs> Let me take it back. Let me take it back. Excuse my English. 36, what you do for a living? I'm a claims adjuster for an insurance company. Claims adjuster, okay. Do you have any kids? I have two boys. Two boys, how old are your boys? Uh, seven and four weeks. Seven and four weeks, four weeks? Four weeks. Girl, you didn't have sex yet. <laughs> no, I can't. <laughs> How the hell you look at your vagina ain't even healed. Close. Yeah, how, how you looking for a new <laughs> And your vagina ain't even healed yet. I'm not looking for penis. I'm looking for a husband. <laughs> well, the husband. Why, 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 why ain't you married to the man you had a baby with four weeks ago? That was my plan, but that wasn't his plan. So, but what did here you we are. It wasn't his plan. Stop. This woman got a four-week-old baby talking about she looking for a husband. I didn't Is this camera on me? Yes, it's on. That's stupid. Use your common sense. What are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? Only no, no, because only now is she ready to be wed. Yes, there you go. Here we go. Picture it a dating show, mind you. Woman comes up here, introduces herself to the dating market. Hi, my name is Latasha Laquanda. Yeah, I got two kids. And my my youngest one is four weeks old. I'm still I, I'm not yet out the woods as far as healing physically. You know what I mean? But I'm ready for I'm ready for my husband now. While I'm while I'm still getting used to breastfeeding this bastard child, I'm ready for my husband now. And only now. I'm ready. So here we go. We're gonna <laughs> let her keep going. We gotta cash out. Okay. Money, 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 money. Shout out to my guy, Leon King, come through in the cash app. He said, hey, this Leon. is Leon King and his robe, something for the plate. Okay, Leon, this is groundbreaking. This right now, as of now, this is the first time Leon has supported his interest and not been voted off the show for the rest of the year. Well, so no, far. actually, this ain't. This might be the sec this, this might be the second or third. Second for sure. Okay. They, we didn't know. He, I didn't know his government name. So uh, this may right. be his second time. But thank you, Leah. Appreciate you. Oh, and your road. Here we go. I'm sorry. Say that again. When did you realize it wasn't was his plan? Uh, um, after he broke up with me. Did he break before the baby was born. You? October. When? when the baby was born? Before the baby was born. He broke up with you while you were pregnant? While I was pregnant, yes. What the hell was the reason? What you, <laughs> you didn't have an ask? Your guess is just as good as mine. I didn't ask. Uh, just the excuse was enough for me. What so. was the excuse? Uh, he said that I didn't meet his standards. Um, he didn't see himself with me for a long period of time, and he didn't want to be married. How long were you guys dating for? So we've been off and on since 2019. 
So let's get so. to the nitty gritty. Were y'all in a author on me? Were y'all never in a real relationship? We were in a relationship. Yes. This, so, let me just say this past, I want to say, uh, in March of last year, that's when it was like official. We were, we were like, you know, this is going to happen. We're going to be committed. This is going to be marriage. But then after we moved in together, it was just like, now let me uh, ask you this in March. Is that when you learned you were pregnant? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. basically, so here's, here's, okay. I want to get to the, all the story. Mm-hmm. So basically y'all were off, off and on. So before you got pregnant, you were not in a committed relationship. We were. We decided that we wanted to be in a committed relationship. Before in March. you got pregnant? Well, I was already pregnant, but I didn't know that I was pregnant. So how long? Okay. Okay, because I gotta get I, I want to get to the, the foundation. Okay. What I'm trying to get okay. to is the foundation. So you guys were off and on for how long? Since 2019. So four years in 2023. So what part when did y'all become an exclusive? He's my man, I'm I am i am his girl relationship, just the two of y'all. So I want to say that was in February, February of last year. February okay, of last year. Okay, that's when y'all year. both agreed to be in an exclusive relationship. Yes. Yes. When did you get pregnant after that? I think I was pregnant in February, like February, March. I found out in April, I want to say, that I was pregnant. Okay. And then y'all moved in. Did y'all move in together because you were pregnant? No. Oh, we didn't know. We moved in together in March. Moved you, in together okay. around, around March. And then I found out in April that I was okay. pregnant. Okay, so now you're living together, you're pregnant. And in October, how many months are you? Uh, so I had the baby December 1st. Okay, so how many months were you in October? October, I was, what, 37 weeks. So I was like, what, almost eight months. Almost so eight months. So eight months pregnant. Eight months pregnant, he came to you and said, I don't want to be, did he move out? No, no. shit. I mean, shoot, we were still living together. How, we were still living together. Break up with a pregnant girl that you're living with while she's eight months pregnant. Easy, Kendra. He walked in like, don't you love when I come around? what do he say? Build you up, then I'll take you down. That's all. Good old Nug Nug Dre came in, and another one. It's the second woman tonight that Nug Nug said, "I ain't trying to have no kids," and y'all ain't listening. I see my guy Stevie D was in the chat talking about Mary before you carry. They don't hear you. They don't care. They don't care about none of that. Mary before you carry is a concept lost in time. It's over for that. Yeah, this is to hear these stories of on and off relationships. Y'all know what this is. It was convenient. She lonely. She knows it's all wrong. But when she called them, when she answered the text, whatever, the yeah, come on right through. I'm going to make you some oodles and noodles right quick and your favorite Kool-Aid and you got to leave text. And it's all lies. <laughs> all right. Because she's going to be making that that ramen noodles and Kool-Aid in in his favorite Scooby Doo nightgown, <laughs> it's over. It's over. She they be knowing what these situations is, and kids are trying to pry and do some journalism. But yeah, it ain't. It wasn't a relationship, Kendra. It was convenient meat mashing. Hood relationships. Appreciate the goat, the stat goat squeegee kit for the five dollar super chat. Says what man does she think is out here saying? Man, I wish I could find a baby mom that just had a kid a few weeks ago for marriage. Man, I'm trying to fall in love with that heifer there. (laughs) (laughs) Appreciate you, who's the master, for the $5 super chat. So this is how little they think of us, fellas. I'm not a doctor, but I don't think her body has fully healed yet from the bastard she just crapped out. That part. Appreciate you, Tracy Ann, for the two dollar super chat. She says, This is the new soap opera, The Young and the Shameless. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> money, 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 money. Shout out to G Honda. Appreciate the five dollar super chat. Says, S skinny boy, you only been here for a month or two and you rent sipping already. <laughs> is this camera on me? 
Man. Is it. this camera on me? Yes, it's on. That's stupid. Use your common sense. Money, 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 money. Appreciate you, Mrs. Roosevelt, for the five dollar super chat. It says before I pass judgment, I need the father to give his side of the story. Something not adding up. I agree. I agree. Might be another man with a vasectomy. These men walk around with old vasectomies, and these women trying to pin kids on them, and they walk around like, "Is this damn camera on me?" Y'all see what I'm saying? Like, come on now. <laughs> That's crazy. Yo, folks, hit the like button. I guess it's just as good as mine. I was going to say this. This is, he's, that was terrible, right? And I think he could have at least, he could have gave it more of an effort, you know? I don't, but I wanted to get the foundation because these are the risks that you take. Yeah. Ladies, when you make life decisions without having a lifetime agreement, you know, That's a right. baby is a lifetime agreement with a person, you know, like, Regardless of how you see it, you guys are connected. Whether you're married or not, you have a child together. And so this human being, you guys are co-parenting. But you have to get the foundation together before you have a child together because I think it's terrible that he broke up with you at eight months pregnant while you were living with him. But the more I'm getting to the details, y'all foundation wasn't solid. Right. I think it was more so mine. I didn't. We didn't have a clear definition of what commitment was. I was clear about what I wanted, my commitment. I want to be married. I wanted a husband. That's what I wanted. And from what he said, that's what I thought he wanted too. But come to find out, it wasn't. I think it was just more so he didn't want to see me with anybody else. So it's like, let me just say that I want what you want. So you won't be with anybody else. But yeah. Do you guys co-parent well? Um, <laughs> that w- I I would say it'll get better in the future. Right now, not really. No. Did he move out? I moved out. Oh, I, I don't like out. this man. You moved <laughs> out with the baby? I moved out. Yes, with my baby. I sure did. I sure was did. Was he there when you gave birth? Yeah, he was there. Okay. So, all right, so that's because the reason I was asking all these questions, he had a baby four weeks ago. Now we're gonna continue, but you do have to answer this because there's gonna be men that are gonna feel like, like I said, you know, technically they say you can't have sex until six weeks after you have a baby. So you are not even in the vagina, your vagina ain't even healed yet. So with that being said, (laughs) what do you say to the man that is concerned that you just had a baby four weeks ago? Concern, I mean, don't be concerned. Because, I mean, it's not, to me, it's not always about sex. I mean, you know. Well, honey, I think, I think <laughs> some women got to get this. You can't understand how having a baby four weeks ago can be to a guy. Like, that could be a big thing. Would you date a guy that had a baby four weeks ago? It depends on the situation. It definitely depends on the situation. Um, I mean, if it was like mine, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> If it was like my situation, absolutely. Why not wait? I'm just curious. Why not wait some more time before you start dating somebody else? Because I feel like the back and forth and just how it ended, it's it's no resurrecting it. It's definitely no, no, not. I'm not talking about him. I'm just saying for you. Listen, Kendra, this is why. You need to eat me out. Hi. I'm out here in Miami. Hey, looking for the hoochie daddy. Why the niggas ain't get ratchet? Huh? My son need a new family. Yeah, too many bitches. Where the niggas at? Huh? I'm trying to get my coochie straight. Yeah. I'm trying to get my coochie straight. Yeah. You know that you're here to the baby. Yeah. I like a nigga with a straight. Yeah. Huh. Kendrick, he asking why. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> She's trying to get that thing stretched. Why, Bonquisha? Why? 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 Why are you out here? Why? He's like, Kendra, <laughs> what don't you get? Yeah, trying to get it stretched. It's already stretched. F and yuckety. It's, you know what I mean? It's wounded. Man down. But she's trying to act like she up. You down. City girls, this is an L. You, you nasty. You nasty. Seriously, can't do, can't, 
can't if you're nasty. Yeah, the city girls definitely down, but the city boys. City boys, city boys. <laughs> yeah, city boys is up. This whole situation is funky, making my stomach hurt. Here we go. Why not wait more time to just focus on your newborn child and some other things opposed to dating somebody else? Uh, well, this is not my first one. <laughs> and I'm emotionally um, independent and I would say stable enough to be able to have both. I mean, even before my son or even before I got pregnant, it's always been my desire to be in not necessarily a committed relationship, but have a husband. I don't really want to be on the dating scene, to be honest with you. I just want a man that wants to be married, that wants to be committed, that wants to be with one person. Like, that's what I want. <laughs> so you have two kids. Are they by different men? Yes. Okay. So now, understandably, you want a you want a husband. How would you go about it different now to get a husband opposed to the two men you had children with? What would you do? Absolutely, different? I definitely wouldn't rush. Um, definitely will take my time. Definitely will have more conversations, uh, ask more questions. Definitely to make sure that we're on the same page, um, and just take it slow. To be honest with you. Okay, so we got Ava, Houston, Texas. Avia. I'm sorry, Avia. Avia, Houston, Texas, 36, claim adjuster, minor two boys. What's your zodiac sign? I'm a cancer. Cancer. And do you have a seven year old and a four week? Is it a girl or a boy? Boy, both the boys. Both are boys. Seven week old, oh, seven week old and a four week old. Um, and never married, but wants to get married. And your kids are by two different men, correct? Yes, correct. All right, all right, so what kind of man are you looking for now, honey? I want a man that has a relationship with God. I want a man that is able to not only lead, but follow, um, teach, and also be able to learn. Um, <laughs> I definitely want a man that's family-oriented. Um, definitely one. Um, I would say active in the church, but as long as he has a relationship, that will do for me. Um, definitely want one with godly morals and values. Wants a man that wants to be committed, um, that doesn't mind wanting to be, you know, a stepfather. Why you just told that fantastic ass lie? And hell! Fuck is you talking about? So. <laughs> I'm trying to let her cook, man, but she talking about she looking for uh, you got two baby fathers, you got a four week old child, you got two husbands. Figure it out. To me, it sounds like she been trying to program this this like man bot. Like that, she like you got to be able to learn and teach, lead and follow. You know, work and play, jump and sit. <laughs> Do as the F I say do when I say do. Been be a whole husband. And you up here two for two. You two for two with the wounded Kuda Kata. Like this is what you coming with. What you come with, Bone Creature, two for two wounded Kuda Kata. And I want a man that's that's like a like a husband bot that can that can lead and follow and, and talk and sit and wipe his come on man. This ain't it. This ain't it. I'll tell you what. It's hard out here for a dime when I got to get the cigarette out my mind. You don't talk about Hell. Here we go, man. <laughs> um, he definitely, it's okay if he has children. Um, it's would be definitely okay if he has you know a good relationship not necessarily with his mother but also you know with his child's mother because that would tell me a lot about him definitely want a man that takes care of his responsibility whether it be children whether it be his lifestyle his health uh, mental health definitely want a man that is open to counseling um, therapy um, and that's emotional intelligence 
I definitely want a man that I can have intellectual conversations with, one that respects my mind, values, challenges me, um, and just want a good, all around good man. <laughs> okay. What one who to- knows, definitely. He has to know who he is. Just, he has to know. Real question. Hell. Real question. What part of the sisterhood? I want to know who is the Mount Rushmore of the sisterhood, right? Show me your <laughs> Mount. Yeah, like Cynthia G. These women. How in the hell even even y'all can't defend this? I'm talking about the Mount Rushmore of the damn sisterhood. Come on to the front of the congregation. Where your defense? What's your defense? Huh. Shoot. <laughs> <laughs> you got to be a strong man to come enter into this relationship. There you go. You ain't strong enough. You ain't man enough. <laughs> it's strong enough to come take care of this, this four week old kid that don't belong to you. Ninja, get your weight up, man up. There you go. Yeah. They ain't gonna do a flip the script. All oh, the man was toxic, narcissistic abuse. No, we talking about her. She already had one baby daddy. We ain't trying to hear that ish. Well, I'm saying before, you know, they're trying to talk about the second baby daddy as if she didn't already oh, yeah, have yeah. one. So she, uh, we're not trying to hear how this man was, whatever y'all gonna say he was. We ain't trying to hear. Yeah, they, yeah, yeah, there you go. Yeah, null and void. Bon, hey, I think about that. Bone Quisha come up here talking about the first baby daddy, this and that. Then come to find you had a second one. No, no, you two for two. Something for show sure is wrong with you. There you go. Write that down. If you two for two, something for show sure wrong with you. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes, no, he is. What are your deal yes. breakers? Um, my deal breakers are atheists, um, cheaters, because <laughs> mine definitely has to be loyal and trustworthy. Huh? Um, and I think that's all I can think of right now. But definitely atheist is a deal breaker. Okay. Does he have to look a certain way? <laughs> um, not really. To me. Oh, your audio eight. went out. Uh oh. Say again. I said, I think my battery went low. Um, as long as he has a good, good personality and, you know, good hygiene. He looks, we can look past that. Also, you so, no. Not that I don't care. <laughs> it's not that I don't care. Um, I mean, you know, handsome to me. Handsome to me. Handsome. Come healed. Yes. Healed. What about money? Does he have to make a certain amount of money? Uh, I'm good with me. So, I mean, no. I mean, he can't be broke, but then I'm not looking for him, you know, to make like thousands of dollars or anything like that. No. Okay. Do you want more kids? I need you probably one more. So you got one more? Yes. Okay. Okay. Um, let's do the Kendra Cam. Oh. Let me see. Let me see if you can see me. If you can see me. I went walking today. Let me take these off. This is Girl, I for weeks ago. How the hell are you so skinny? You're <laughs> Snapback is like, <laughs> what the? You look really I'm sorry, good. I'm sorry, four weeks ago. Oh, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Uh, here we go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She belongs to the streets. Yeah. yeah. Well, lift that. She got on a whole sweater. Tell her lift that shirt up. Stop playing. Stop playing. Yeah, this. I'm gonna is, show this you is... that cuda cotta, that blowed out cuda cotta. Uh. Yeah, this is this is Taki's fit. Yeah, mm-hmm. this is Fun Yun's fit, mm-hmm. and 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 David Sunflower Seeds fit. Lift up that stump, mm-hmm. lift up that that yellow sweater, and you're gonna see all you need to see. Straight, smoking hot, piping hot oatmeal pie, fresh and ready. <laughs> and as Big Don once said, I used to be a hoe, but I ain't now no more. All right. Yeah, come on, man. Here we go. Thank you. So, thank you. Listen, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna let you respond to this because you know, as a highlight, people are definitely gonna say you should be waiting. 
you know, longer than four weeks to meet somebody new. Do you have a response to those comments? Um, like I said before, um, I'm definitely healed enough to be able to not necessarily juggle it, but uh, I have a solid foundation in being able to balance both. Um, I think it more so depends on the man if this is something that he wants to take on. Um, that will definitely be <laughs> that will definitely be his. Obliged. Obliged. No push back here. Yeah, it was over at four weeks, dog. Appreciate your mercy. Appreciate your kindness and mercy, Q2, Mr. What It Do. Brother say pass. She got the crazy eyes. Yeah, she got that thousand weenie stare. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yes. Shout out to Q come through with the 50 ball. Yeah, get that money. Money, gotta get that money. Oh, money, and I'm gonna get it, <laughs> and it won't stop, and it don't stop, and it won't stop. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, shout like I said, shout out to Q. You are now a channel member, oh no, not channel member, a show sponsor. All right, we ain't done tonight, so y'all yeah, would think we was because we getting exhausted, but we gotta keep mining. Holy hell, it's like the end of a 12-hour shift right here, man. Four weeks. Huh? At what point are the critics and detractors going to come through and be like, yeah, y'all was right. Y'all was right, man. Y'all y'all, y'all tone was, was correct. Because they coming up there 8 for 11, you know, two weeks out, the maternity ward, and they talking about they trying to get something stretched. Y'all was right. When that day going to come? Huh? Someday? Soon? All right. So here we go. I got that updated. Shout out to Q. Also, money, 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 money. Shout out to EJ Uno. Appreciate the $5 super chat. Says, lift up that shirt and we'll see that cheese toast. <laughs> Yo, it's a cheese toast. Yep. Yes, you will. <laughs> Pretty In the meantime, uh, like I said, shout out to Q. I think we hear the baby crying. She can go on and uh, start breastfeeding inside the submarine. How y'all like that? There, there we go. The passengers of the doomed Titanic sub spent their last moments in total darkness looking for bioluminescent creatures out of the small window and listening to their favorite music. The new details of the five passengers' final moments have been revealed by the wife and mum of the father-son duo. Wait in the water, wait in the water, diamond wave in the water. Something's gonna trouble the water. You better wait in the water. Amen. Hey, 